millions of dollars into the leading anti Allende newspaper, El Mercurio, transforming El Mercurio into a bullhorn uh, for military operations against uh, Allende. This propaganda operation helped set the stage for the military coup of September 11, 1973. Here, counter-revolution started, prepared and financed by the United States, organized by traitorous and disloyal generals and fascists. On September the 11th, 1973, General Augusto Pinochet and his army marched on Santiago, the capital of Chile, and stormed the palace. Pinochet's troops arrested around 130,000 people and imprisoned them without trial. What Pinochet did was kill thousands of people. Um, hundreds were executed in the football stadium. I was taken to this secret torture center. I spent a long time, nearly three months, and then two years in concentration camps. This person is going to be um, tortured till he died or she died. It's going to be suffocated. It's going to be um, raped in the case of women and men as well. I was lucky. One of the survivors. If you walk around Santiago, the capital of Chile, with, with people, they will point out to you every now and then a house which might look quite innocent now, but which is remembered by one generation as a place of torture and horror, where 15 or 20 years ago you could hear the screams from this building. That's the memory, and it takes a very long time for that memory to fade. Pinochet in Chile became a focal point for international condemnation of human rights violations in Latin America and international condemnation of the United States of America